Here's part three of our conversation with drumming great Simon Phillips. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Pete Townsend. I asked the audience on our um, our Facebook, okay, uh, you we're going to talk to Simon Phillips. And So Pete, well, you know, I, I, I've said this to a lot of people. His songs are just so playable. They play themselves. Even from the first song I played with him, which was on Empty Glass, and it was called Gonna Get You. That was the first tune I played with him. And it just played itself. I didn't have to do anything. My hands just moved and went into the right places. And he loved what he heard. And he was there in front of me playing his uh, his uh, Telecaster. Yeah. Tony Butler was playing his bass. Rabbit was playing the piano. Bang, it went down. Wessex Studios with Chris Thomas and Bill Price. And that's how the whole album went. So it was just a, it's a joy to play songs that play themselves. You don't have to think about them. Yeah. Um, and it's always been the case with Pete, you know, um, and I, uh, my, I admire that so much. Um, but also, I mean, just a, a lovely person, lovely character, um, the world's most complicated man in some <laughs> way. I started producing him on one project called The Iron Man. And, of course, he's always been at the pinnacle of technology. And he was using a thing called Synclavia from NED, New England Digital. And, of course, he bought the whole rig with a hard disk recorder. Now, in those days, we weren't using hard disk recorders. This was in 1980s. So it had its limitations. But he said he wanted to record live drums, but he also wanted to, he wanted me to program them. Because he wanted to be able to change the tempo of songs without changing the pitch. All right. So, and at that time, the only piece of equipment which Bill Price was using was made by Lexicon. And it was called a Lexicon Time Expander or, or something like that. You could only do two channels at a time which for a drum kit is a problem because yeah. then you get phase problems. So, but he, no doubt he, he was still doing this to change tempos of certain songs. And so I was having a crack. I'd already been a Fairlight uh, operator and I was obviously uh, a studio operator with, with tape machines and consoles and stuff. But the Synclavia was like a new thing to me, but obviously I was very gung ho for it. So I love technology. And so I, had a you know he explained a lot about it i worked with it for a little bit and then i'm still trying to formulate how to record and so i'm asking him so pete you know how many channels can you record at once i believe at the time it was only four channels i need eight lim minimal to record a drum kit but it wasn't clear and i said okay pete uh, explain again how the direct to disc works on the Synclavia. Mm. And he went into this long, convoluted, you know, uh, diatribe about, and I went at the end of it, I said, basically it only records four channels. And he goes, I didn't invest all this fucking money into the Synclavia. And he went off on a tirade. <laughs> and he said, but you're right. It only records four channels at a time. I said, Thank you, Pete. That's all I wanted to know. And it took like an hour to get that out of him. It was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. So his brain is really wired that way. It's like, there's yeah. a lot. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's lovely. I, I, I uh, love Pete. And, you know, we used to uh, we used to write to each other occasionally. Uh, but I haven't done that and he hasn't done that. We've kind of lost touch, which is a bit of a shame. Because uh, every time I see him, whenever I do beat, meet up with him at a who concert, we always sit down, we always have a talk, and it's always great. Yeah. It's always lovely, you know? And uh, I, I, I really miss, the, there's something about those old days, I miss making records with people like that. Yeah. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music.